Hello guys, welcome to our channel Anything Medicine. So now we are continuing the herpes, uh, human herpes six and seven. And actually, we start by mentioning that these viruses are very common. Actually, these viruses are new pictures exist everywhere. And one third to fifty percent of the childs actually get infected with these viruses so these viruses are very common and in some circumstances they are very dangerous also so how we can get these viruses by droplet with food and since they enter the mouth of course they are existing fluid also since they since they enter the mouth the mouth they replicate inside the oropharynx and from the uh, from the pharynx, they will enter the tonsils, and from that to blood. And inside the blood, mainly they will affect T and B cells, and they will make uh, um, a powerful immune response against uh, against them, and result in releasing of interleukin one, mainly B, which is responsible for temperature. So you will see a febrile illness and febrile seizure. And tamonicrosis alpha factor also. These both are responsible for the high temperature. And alpha and alpha interferon, which is against the viruses itself. But the most special here for these two viruses, and especially for herb uh, for virus number six, that that virus make make the cells. The other cells that do, do that do not have CD4 make these cells force them to express the CD4, and by this way, it help what it help HIV infection because HIV HIV virus target the CD4 receptor, so it broaden the type of cells that HIV can infect can infect it. So. Remember, this is a special for these viruses. So, clinically, what we see? Clinically, in normal children, normal child. Um, okay, of course, this, this virus is a uh, latent virus, yes? Once you infect it, it's for all life. Same with cytomegal virus, same with herpes viruses, all herpes family like this. But, uh, primary, there's primary infection and secondary, when there's reactivation. So, primary infection characterized by febrile seizures actually uh, febrile seizures actually um, like one one third one third of the emergency room visits cases okay it's one third of causes for emergency emergency uh, visits and this is 20 percent 20 percent the febrile illness so imagine how much is common so it can cause febrile seizures because the, the fever will be high so it can trigger the seizures and febrile illness due to high fever there will be several uh, circum uh, several uh, uh, sequences and uh, uh, pathologies so and erythematous macular rashes which start on neck and trunks trunk okay so mostly mostly like this disease mostly you are uh, mostly who acquire this virus are children so of course of course also sore throat there will be because of oropharynx replication and there will be also enlarge enlarge uh, lymphatic nodes enlarged pharyngeal pharyngeal uh, lymph okay enlarged pharyngeal lymph but since this disease is characterized by rash and fever it co it it's named uh, exanthematous disease and according to the common order according to the common sequence so 
they classify it as six disease, six xanthematous disease. We have six xanthematous diseases, uh, especially for pediatrician, which uh, which classify due to common order. Okay, so first common is varicella zoster, chicken box. We have studied that in previous videos. Yes, then second number is rubella, and third one is rubiola, which is measles. And rubella is called also German measles. And the fourth common one is scarlet fever. And this, the fifth one is parvovirus. The, it's called also slab cheek syndrome. The child will come to you as a slabbed face uh, look like appearance. So, and the sixth one is our virus now, Rosula infantum called, or Rosula sabitum. Let me tell you that herbicemic six and seven they are same pathogenesis and same clinically. So we have a simplex seven called Rosula infantum like. Okay? So because they are look like each other, they didn't make it as uh, seven. So um, so we have to differentiate between these. All these characterized by like the child will come to you with rashes and fever and sore throat. And then you have to differentiate. So that's why they classify this most common then you have to think about one of these six when the child will come to you with rashes and fever and this manifestation which we, which we uh, mentioned. So, in immunocompromised uh, patients, the virus can reactivate it as secondary infection. And at that time, it will be mostly as a co-infection with cytomegalovirus. Because we already mentioned in previous video that Cytomegalovirus is, a, is an opportunistic virus also that can be activated and very associated with AIDS and immunocompromised patient. So it can help the cytomegalovirus with uh, pneumonitis, pneumonitis, and hepatitis, hepatitis, and other inflammations, but mostly these two, pneumonitis and hepatitis. So it can be as a co-infection with cytomegalovirus and again as I told you due to broadening the CD4 cells, broadening the CD4 cells due to broadening, let me tell you like explicit like this, due to broadening the CD, uh, CD, CD cells range, it increased the HIV fatalities and progress in promote the progression of HIV virus and finally this is a bad prognosis so at this time so that's why we, we can give the HIV patient without to know even that without to try to check that he have or whether have or not the these viruses we will give directly gancyclovir acidofovir foscarnet to eradicate that virus to get rid of that virus to prevent the progression of HIV mainly. So, treatment, I already mentioned, yes, treatment will be the same with cytomegalovirus as same as I mentioned. Now it will be GAN cyclovir, GAN cyclovir, foscarnet, and sidofovir, sidofovir. And laboratory diagnosis of that virus is very hard, especially the primary one. We can't, it's not available to, to detect that viruses by simple methods. So for primary detection we can't, but if just in one condition we can, in one situation, after the transplantation, the virus can release into plasma and we can detect it easily at that time. So we can use the PCR at that time just in this case, but laboratory is not available in other cases. So, hope it was beneficial, thank you.